Thank you, Kevin. And let me begin by thanking the Americans for the arts for, first of all, and most importantly, for your continued advocacy for doing what's right in our country and our society and for their partnership with the U.S. Conference of Mayors, recognizing this great organization and what we do and helping us in furtherance of what we do on behalf of the citizens of our communities. And thank Tom Cochran and Tom McClyman and Jocelyn and all of the staff members uh, who have helped in this effort to highlight the importance of arts. I want to mention that my daughter and son-in-law came down uh, for this, and I appreciate uh, Michelle being here and Mike. But I also want to quickly add that uh, two council members, City Council President uh, uh, Gary Moneypenny and Jeff Fusco are here uh, without uh, the Council's understanding of the importance of this commitment, this investment, I would argue, uh, we wouldn't be able to do many of the things. And I've been fortunate to have, uh, as you, Roy, you have one, I have one or two, but uh, folks who don't understand things, but I've had the majority over my uh, 27 years who really understand and get this. So I appreciate them being here. And I couldn't help but not mention Marco Somerville, who took a real job with me. He's planning director, but he used to be city council president. He also understood the importance of looking at things long term. I need to mention Knight Foundation and GAR Foundation and the Ohio Arts Council, because they have been partners with us in making sure that we had some of the resources necessary to carry on the programs that you talked about. And there are many other individuals uh, the late Heinz Pohl, who started the Ohio Ballet in Akron, Ohio, and, and uh, a number of folks uh, at our art museum, Mitchell Kahn in particular, Jane Startsman, uh, a number of folks who couldn't be here, um, but none may be as crucial to this effort as my former chief of, ha of staff, and many of you knew him, Dave Lieberth, who really led the effort in bringing back downtown and activities that were so vitally important to this vital vital part of our community now. He uh, was probably most important uh, role was to continue the dance performances. And one thing that wasn't mentioned, these are free. We offer them to people to come for free to the parks, both the symphony and the ballet, something that I believe strongly in. I learned early on, maybe not at my beginning of my career, which started, by the way, 40 years ago, 41 years ago, um, to, to understand the importance of the things that Nina and Roy and others have talked about, the economic impact, the quality of life issues that we address to try to make the places that we all represent, the places that we lead, great places for young people especially who make those decisions differently than my grandfather did just to come to Akron to get a job. So the arts play such an important role. But I want to mention something for me that is every bit as important. And that is what we do to provide for our young people the opportunity, and I use a weird word maybe, but to be exposed to things that they wouldn't otherwise see or experience. And I think that is vitally important for a number of reasons. We know about the issue of arts and the creative connection and the learning in the learning process. But I also feel very strongly, coming from a sports background, that we spend millions of dollars on sports activities. We actually have an investment in a women's professional softball team, believing everyone should have an opportunity to follow their dreams. But young people see things differently and have different understanding of what their important role in their life of, of, of having a dream, having a role model, having somebody who's a hero and whatever that is. If it, be, if it is something in the arts, their parents may not have the money to buy a ballet ticket. And while we want a quality ballet or a quality symphony, we need to expose those young people. I probably believe in that as much as anything. And I've always said this, that someday there will be a professional who will go on, and we have that. It's a young lady who danced with the Oakland uh, Ballet. Uh, and she first saw a ballet and got interested in a park, in a free uh, performance. Um, there's another example, and this is a little off, but uh, there was a young person, and when he was young and playing games, he lived in Akron, and he watched TV and watched the news every night, and he always aspired to say, well, I want to be like him. That was Kevin Johnson. He was a basketball player, and he used to see me as mayor and look at him. He's done a hell of a job, huh? 
He even followed my lead yesterday. He saw the pink striped shirt, and so he went out and bought one. And <laughs> but seriously, we all look at people in our young lives and want to be somebody like that. And I have such a strong feeling that it's important, and I would urge all the mayors to keep the families and the young people at the center of all of this, because arts cannot be just for the 1% of 1%. That's important to have that quality, but the young people and the dreams, who knows? Who knows that the next LeBron James or Kevin Johnson in the arts and entertainment world, who knows where that next person will come from, but with your help, they might just come from your city. Thank you very much.